Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be applying these Gel X Natural Almond Medium Tips using the overlay method. I've already got all of my sizes selected, so we're gonna jump into nail prep. It's actually been quite a while since I did my nails and my cuticles are very overgrown, so I'm gonna start by pushing the cuticles back. So I'm going to go around the cuticle with this cuticle clean bit from Kiara Sky to further push back the cuticle and remove any of that dead skin that's still on the nail plate. Using my nippers, I'm gonna go in and remove any of that skin that is lifted from pushing the cuticles back. I'm going to gently buff the shine away from the nail using a buffing block. Next, I'm going in with the pH bonder, which is a dehydrator from a prey, followed by the acid free primer. I'm going to use this tip primer from Jellish to etch the inside of the nails. I'm gonna apply a thin layer of the Extend Gel to all of my nails, and then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply a layer of the Extend Gel to the nail. Um, so with the overlay method, you want to leave a little bit of space between the nail tip and your nails. So it's hard to see here, but I'm placing it just in front of the cuticle, not at the cuticle like I normally would. And then I'm gonna flash cure. Um, so it's kind of hard to see it in this clip. I'm going to show you another nail and it's a little bit easier to see on the second nail. Um, but you want to leave a little bit of a space in between your cuticle area and the nail tip when you're applying using the overlay method. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Where I place the nail is where the nail stays. Normally I will push the nail back towards the cuticle, but where you see me place the nail is actually where I'm gonna cure the nail. So there's a little bit of a space between the cuticle and the tip.
here I'm just trying to show you the little gap between um, the tip and my nail. It's kind of hard to see. I think my lights were a little bit too bright, um, but you can kind of see where the tip is right here. So it's just a small amount of space. Um, so I'm going to go in and refile these nails. They don't really need much filing because they're pre-shaped, um, but I am going to kind of sharpen them up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this pan of it that I got from Amazon to blend the edge of the nail into my natural nail, um, ever so slightly taking care not to file into the natural nail when I'm doing this. So to do the overlay, I'm going to use this colored Extend Gel from a Prey in the color Yesica. So you want to make sure you're using a thicker gel, a builder gel, or foundation gel, and not just a regular base coat when you're doing this part to do the fill-in. So I'm just going to place my gel on the edge of the nail and kind of push it up towards the cuticle so that it fills in that little gap that we have there. So I am going to apply two coats of the Extend Gel um, just to make sure that it's opaque and everything's even and that little gap is filled in completely. So I'm going to go in with my um, alcohol to remove that sticky layer from the nail. I'm going to use a file to just reshape the nail a little bit. Um, it does lose its shape just a little bit when you apply the Extend Gel because the gel is so thick. So I'm just going to go in and reshape it. And then I'm going to go in with a buffing block to kind of debulk the nail just a little bit because I noticed in a few places it was rather thick. Um, if you apply yours thinly and evenly all over, you can definitely skip this step. Um, but if you do notice that it is a little bit too thick in areas, it's okay to file this gel down a little bit before you do your designs or apply your top coat. So at this point, you can go ahead and do your designs. You can add another color. Um, this would be a great base coat for a French nail, but I'm gonna rock mine just like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my Apre No Wipe Top Coat, cure this, and then follow that up with some cuticle oil. And that is that, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.